Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new Minecraft tutorial, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install add-ons for Minecraft Bedrock 1.2.8. So why don't we go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head on over to your web browser, and basically you want to go to a website that has uh, mods or add-ons. So basically, uh, MCPEDL is a uh, pretty good uh, website that I use. Obviously, you can use some other websites, but um, I think MCPEDL is uh, one of the best. So uh, as you can see, uh, you want to make sure you find the ones labeled add-on, because mods are only for Android, like for stuff like block launcher and stuff so you want to find the one that's are the ones that are labeled add-on so the astronomy astronomic expansion anna looks cool so why don't we go ahead and uh, try to download and install that so uh, basically it'll go ahead and give you like a little description of what the add-on's about it'll give you the features a detailed guide on how to use it and uh yeah so it's really cool so uh, if we scroll all the way down, you should see a installation over here. It should say download resource and behavior dot MC add on. Now, do note that you'll want to have to use Google Chrome for this. You cannot use Safari because it will not uh, download. You can only use uh, Google Chrome to download through iOS devices. So uh, once you go ahead and uh, head here, you want to go ahead and click download. And it'll probably send you to some web page that'll uh, make you wait five seconds, whether it's Adfly or this website, all you gotta do is wait the amount of seconds and then press skip this ad. And then once you skip this ad, you wanna just exit out of the uh exit out of the ads and you want to go to the media fire link or the dropbox link or whatever link it sends you to download so now there will probably be a big green download button over here you want to go ahead and press that and as you can see it'll bring you to this nice lovely page over here so at the uh, bottom right hand corner of your screen it'll say download you want to go ahead and press that and it'll should download pretty fast so now once you uh, have that downloaded you want to press open in now i'll give you a couple op options over here obviously you want to go ahead and press copy to minecraft so it will We'll go ahead and open up minecraft and i'll go ahead and say import started and then once it says import started it'll go ahead and do its thing import it to minecraft and it says successfully imported astro expo dash library so now if we go into our settings over here and go into our global resources we should have astronomic expansion and it should say 2.5 megabytes so that is uh, sort of what we want so now we can go ahead and apply this add-on to a world so we can go ahead and create a new world here down turn up multiplayer and the resource pack astronomic expansion and the behavior pack astronomic expansion as well so uh, now once we have both of those we can go ahead and hit play and we should be able to have the add-on on our world so to go ahead and load the resource packs this may take a while depending on your uh, device um, but um, for me it shouldn't take too long and uh, once it goes ahead and generates the world we'll see if the uh, add-on has installed so let's go ahead and go to our settings and uh, if we go to uh, if there I think there was like a how to play section uh, so if we go here as you can see it will say lead developer solve dev that means the uh, thing is installed so uh, yeah th that's about the add-on so you can see entities villagers and then this will show you all the stuff that you need to know about this add-on and uh, yeah I like how they were able to incorporate this into add-ons and uh, basically it's more useful for add-ons because like it can teach you like what the add-on is gonna do and stuff like that so uh, you can go ahead and use the how to play section to uh, learn how to use the add-on so uh, yeah that's basically about it so now you should have your add-on fully installed it doesn't matter which add-on you install you don't have to use the astronomic add-on you can uh, use other different types of add-ons that uh, that you like and uh, obviously of course you don't have to use the same website I did you can use many other different websites as well but just make sure it has .mc pack if it doesn't have .mc pack you won't be able to import it to Minecraft so like if it's a .zip file do not download that version you want to make sure there is a version that says .mc pack and uh, you'll be able to import it and uh, make sure it's for your version as well. So thanks so much for watching. If th this tutorial helped you, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already done so, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.